Harry Potter, everybody's favorite fantasy novel, even if they won't admit it. I know there's a large war going on between the Twilight people and the Harry Potter people, but that also extends through the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe people, and recently, the Song of Ice and Fire people, which actually, if you haven't read A Song of Ice and Fire, read at least one. They're very entertaining books. Personally, I've always been a Dune man. That's always kind of been my bread and butter. But hey, here we are today with the Chocolate Frog, which is a milk chocolate frog with Chris Rice and a collectible wizard card. <laughs> Going up against the Pokemon market, are you? Okay, yeah, fair enough. On the back we have, oh my goodness. You know, as much as I love the books, I can't even remember what half of these names are. Like who is Heathcote Barbary? Filtus Filtwick. Rubus Hagarid. <laughs> Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and crack this bad boy in half. Obviously, the card is the first thing that jumps out at you, and it's really entertaining. It's one of those cards where if you tilt it at a different angle, you get a different picture. And if you tilt it fast enough, you can get a quick little flash animation. Oh yeah, a lot of fun. Apparently, these are Donhan Tremlett, who plays bass with a popular wizarding man. I didn't even know that was a thing, but I do now. The other guy is Myron Wagtail. Uh, well, I'm assuming he's the guy with the really long hair. Onto the chocolate. Surprisingly, the packaging this thing came in was incredibly light. Kind of disappointing, considering how expensive and hard to find these things are, but, you know, this card kind of makes up for it. I think I'll hide this in my mantle, where I want to have company over. So the frog is bumpy, and it's got the crisp rice on the bottom. And, oh, it doesn't look <laughs> all that menacing, but it does look rather tasty. Let's take a taste. <clears throat> Expelliarmus! Is this a magical treat? Well, yes and no. On the plus side, the crisp rice bits are fantastic, and the chocolate is ridiculously high quality for being just some sort of movie tie-in treat. It isn't cheap in the least. Now, I should note that the size is definitely a hindrance. I could bite this thing in half and eat it in two bites without even thinking twice. So, while I want to give this the highest possible review, I'm only doing it because of my love and adoration for Emma Watson, you stunning human being. Unlike most movie treats, this one has flavor and fun to back it all up. Pick one up and love yourself. Four and a half papayas out of six. 